The Mindset Shift Presents Audiobook Summary The Bald Soprano by Eugene Ionesco The plot begins and develops in the Smiths' home. Their home is described as a typical English home. In the beginning, Mr. Smith spends his days reading the newspaper, and he finds out that Bobby Watson is dead. When his name is mentioned, the author introduces us to the Watsons. Everyone in that family is named Bobby, whether it's a woman or a man. The maid Mary enters the plot. She comes around occasionally. She always gives the audience information that is contradictory to what they find out from the Smiths. She describes her day and in the same time she presents herself as the maid. One part of the play is dedicated to her monologue and the Smiths repeat her sentences alluding to their hopes that that was exactly how she had spent her day. The Smiths are visited by the Martins and the Firemen's chief, and they have a typical conversation with them, but the conversation becomes meaningless by irregular stringing of letters and words. Elizabeth and Mr. Donald Martin are a married couple that comes to the Smith family, and they all sit around a table. The only problem was that after entering the house, they didn't recognize each other anymore. Then they introduce themselves, say their stories, state some facts from their histories, and in the end they come to the conclusion that they live in the same place and that they move to London in the same year. Also, they realized they had identical children and that they lived together. After some time, they conclude that they are a married couple. Then Mary comes back to the plot and says that the statements made by the Martins are lies. The Smiths were absent the whole time, even though everything took place in their dining room, and they came to the table to start a conversation with the Martins when they hear the doorbell ringing. Miss Smith checked the door several times, but every time the doorbell rang, there was no one there. When she gave up, her husband went to open the door, and then he saw the fireman's chief there. He was there for a short period of time. He always came by the Smiths to tell them his false adventures. He was always worried about having to leave, even though both of the families knew he was telling meaningless stories. They like him. When he sat at the table, they first wanted to be sure if he was at the door before and when they concluded that he wasn't he started telling his adventures. The only thing he thought about is having to leave if they call him. The Martins liked him so much that they begged him to tell more stories. Mary comes again, and there is an obvious attraction between her and the chief. He then left and everyone came back to the table. Then a completely meaningless conversation starts. The sentences had no meaning, and they were divided into words and the words were divided into letters. The characters were shouting because of no apparent reason or order. The plot ends in a completely absurd way. The string of meaningless conversations is nothing unusual for Ionesco because he was an expert in writing them. In the end, the plot starts developing again in the same way but with a significant change. This time, it starts with the Martins. Even though the name of the play is The Bold Soprano, that character doesn't even appear. It's not even on the character list. The character is only mentioned when the fireman's chief leaves the house. Thank you for joining me on this audio journey through The Bald Soprano by Eugene Ionesco. I hope this summary has given you a glimpse into the absurd world of the play where language and communication break down in hilarious and unexpected ways. As always, on the mindset shift, we believe that exposing ourselves to new and challenging ideas can shift our mindset and broaden our perspectives. So, if you're looking for a thought-provoking and entertaining theatrical experience, I highly recommend checking out The Bald Soprano for yourself. Don't forget to like and subscribe to The Mindset Shift for more audiobook summaries and other insightful content that help you shift your mindset and improve your life. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you in the next video.